Yo, it's your boy Shadow of the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to root the Xperia Play and also how to install Cyanogen Mod 10 onto the phone. So it's a real simple process. So I'm going to guide you through from beginning to end. It does require you to have an unlocked bootloader. So just in case you don't know how to unlock your bootloader, I'll leave the instructions in the description down below. So once you've followed the instructions and unlocked the bootloader, um, you can go ahead and follow the rest of this video. So um, what you'll need to do, you'll need to download Flash Tool. Make sure you download the version what I'm using. This is Flash Tool here. Make sure you download 0.7.1. This is for Windows. So make sure you download the version what I'm using. This version does work the best. So go ahead and install it. Once you install it, you should, I mean, once you download it, you should see a folder like this called Flash Tool. Just open it up, then look for the drivers folder, click on it. Inside here you'll find the Flash Tool drivers, the Fast Boot drivers and also the Xperia Player drivers. Make sure you install all three of those so that the Flash Tool can work as it should. So I'm just going to close that down. Then the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the Cy Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. There it is, the final version. Also download the mini GApps zip and also the Lupus Jelly Bean version 12 kernel. I'm also going to leave a link to the Enhanced 58 firmware. This firmware um, is the best firmware to root using Flash Tool. Because some stock firmwares can't root using the Flash Tool method. But this definitely does work. It's what I'm using right now on my Xperia Play. So um, I'm just going to leave a link to that in the description down below so just in case your firmware doesn't root using flash tool just simply put this download this put it in the firmware's folder off the flash tool and then flash it then flash tool will be able to root it so now we're just gonna um, move on to the next process which would be to go into settings on your phone hold on go to applications Go to unknown sources, tick the box. Go to development, USB debugging, tick the box. Now we're just going to connect the phone to USB. So I'm just going to put the camera down to do this real quick. Okay, so the phone's connected to USB. Now we're just going <clears> to <throat> put the ROMs. So the CM10 ROM and the uh, mini G apps, we're just going to put them onto the SD card as you can see I've already done it there's the ROM CM10 mini G apps so I've already put them on there so just remember just drag them and put them onto your SD card then you can close that down the next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up flash tool Look for the X10 Flasher Lib folder. Open that up. And now the Lupus Kernel version 12. We're just going to drag and drop it into there. So there it is Lupus Zeus Jelly Bean version 12. Now we're going to hit the back button. Then select this flash icon for flash tool. So once you've installed the drivers and everything correctly, you should see all this information pop up about the phone. So now we're just going to root the device. So this little padlock here, just click on that. and wait for it to root the phone
so now it says root should be available after reboot so the phone's rebooting So now we're just going to have a look and see if super users on here. So there it is here, super user. That means the phone is now rooted. So now we're just going to go ahead and flash the kernel. This kernel does come with clockwork mod recovery so we're just going to go ahead and flash the kernel real quick so select fast boot I mean select this flash icon here select fast boot select ok and select reboot into fast boot mode via ADB Then it should say device connected in fast boot mode and you should see a little blue light here at the top so that means it's in fast boot mode now the next thing to do is select kernel to flash now we're going to look for the x10 flash lib folder that's where we put the kernel earlier so click on that and then look for the kernel, there it is, Lupus Zeus Jelly Bean version 12. So just click on that and flash it. So there it is, it says flashing, flash operation complete, finished, OK. So the kernel has now flashed. So you can go ahead and unplug the phone. You can close all this down. Now turn the phone on. And keep pressing the back button to go into recovery. Oh, hold on. Um, if the back button doesn't work, you might have to press the volume down button. So hold on, I'm going to have to pull the battery real quick. Okay, now power it back on. Okay, press the volume down button instead. Now it should take you into recovery. Okay, there, there you have it. Sorry about that guys, I made a mistake. It's just that sometimes, some kernels, you press the back button to enter recovery, but with this one, you've got to press the volume down. Okay, so, what you need to do now is, is just use the volume rocker on the side and go down to where it says wipe options. Then hit the home button. 
and then go down to where it says wipe data factory reset and then hit the home button and then go down to yes then hit the home button then go back down to wipe options hit the home button go down to wipe cache hit the home button and go down to wipe cache again and hit the home button and then go to where it says install zip hit the home button and where it says choose zip from SD card you're gonna hit the home button again then go down to where it says Sony CM10 then hit the home button then go down to where it says install Sony CM10 final zip hit the home button and now it's going to install the ROM which is Cyanogen Mod 10 As you can see guys it does take a while, there's also a message what says I know it takes a while so just be patient. <clears throat> okay so it's finished flashing so now we're just gonna flash the G apps. So where it says choose zip from SD card, hold on let me just focus hit the home button again and then use the volume rocker on the side to go down to where it says mini G apps zip so there it is mini G apps zip so use the home button again install mini G apps zip hit the home button again
Okay, so we're done. So now we're just going to reboot the phone. So hit the back button, the back key. And then go down to reboot options. And hit the home button again. And then hit the home button where it says reboot system now. Okay, so the first boot does take about five minutes or so, so I'm just going to um, pause the video and come back. See you all soon. Okay, guys, I'm back, so I'm just going to go through the setup process real quick. So let's have a look at CM10. Let's go into about phone. Android version 4.1.2. Running Lupus Kernel version 12, 377 megabytes of memory, Cyanogen mod version CM10 final. So yeah that's it people, that's how you install Cyanogen Mod 10 on the Xperia Play. Um, if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more. Let me just have a look at some of these widgets. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Like I said, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and also subscribe for more videos. If there's any other ROM what you want me to do, do a tutorial on, um, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll try to do it when I've got the time. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm out. Doses.